They are a simple, rather pathetic looking group of men, but they stand accused of involvement in a crime wave that has shocked East Africa. The mountains of Burundi have seen more than their share of horrors down the years, but what's happened here over recent months is one of the most sinister chapters in this country's bloody history. Albinos here are blighted by the sun, poor eyesight and a lifetime of discrimination, but now they face a far more serious threat. In this part of Africa, dozens, many young children have been murdered, skinned and dismembered, all in the name of witchcraft. The authorities have been pitifully slow to act. These men, arrested in the past few days, are the first to be picked up. I told my friends they could get money from albino bones, so two of them killed a 16-year-old girl. They escaped and I've been caught. I dug up an albino's grave. I thought the bones would bring me luck, but now it looks like I'll go to prison. Ten members of this tiny minority have been killed in one small region of Burundi in the past five months. A shelter has been set up where many now live, under guard, for their own protection. Witch doctors have been prescribing their traditional medicines in the mountains here for centuries. But these crimes are a new phenomenon. The killing spree started here just over a year ago. And it's nothing to do with culture. It's simply a means for criminal gangs to get rich quick. Witch doctors don't like talking to outsiders, but I was taken to a mountain village in Burundi's highlands to meet Melchior. In his hut, the 75-year-old summoned the spirits and mixed medicines with skills he learned from his grandmother. Generations of tradition are being disrespected, he told me. They come from Tanzania, these people. Some witch doctors there say albino's blood and bones can bring you luck, help you catch fish or find gold. But it's not true. Those who are doing this are just criminals. We travelled to Tanzania and found the same problem on a far bigger scale. These people say they're being hunted and they're terrified. In an office in Dar es Salaam, Ziana showed me the dreadful evidence of these crimes. Pictures too graphic to show up close. The people, other people have been uh, caught while having the, the, the hands or the legs of the albinos, but no punishment has, has been taken place. In houses across this part of Africa, albino parents are preaching the same warnings to their children. You have to be very, very careful because those killers, they are looking for us. But... The sun used to be these people's biggest enemy. But now, that's no longer the case. Martin Geisler, News at 10, in Tanzania.